to okay. quickly now join uh, Brigadier Basant Ponwar, 1971 war veteran who's also live with us. Uh, Brigadier Ponwar, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, Brigadier Ponwar, let me uh, begin by asking you a bit about uh, your memories, of course, of the 1971 war, your role then, and also just tell us a bit about what the Pakistani army had done to the people of Bangladesh before the liberation. First and foremost, um I was the second lieutenant at that time, just 22 years old. Can you hear me? Absolutely. So, on 25th March, I was in Nagaland when we heard that 1971, that there's been a genocide started, Operation Torch has started, and the, 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 the Awami League, which got a total majority vote in East and West Pakistan, has to be put down. And the, the West Pakistani army forces has started gathering up all the intellectuals and putting them to book and slaughtering them. And an extreme law and order situation started because they were treating East Pakistan as their own colony. And then the refugees started coming in. It was a ball-by-ball -ball activity going on. The refugees started coming in and India had to do its bit of being a good neighbor. We were asked by them to come and help us in some way that this activity stops. We trained their young boys and girls. Many of the boys had this bravery in, written in their eyes that they will liberate their own nation. And that's what Sheikh Mujibur Rahman told them on 25th March. Take up weapons and liberate your nation. And that's how the whole story started. First they were doing it themselves, then they army is almost nine divisions surrounded Bangladesh from five directions and entered. I was in the in the northern sector from Meghalaya. We carried out certain uh, international boundary operations to dominate the IB by carrying out uh, special missions across the border along with the Mukti Bahini forces who were there all the time. The Pakistani grouped themselves up in theater fortresses like Jamalpur, Memon Singh, Ishar, and some, some others uh, all along. So then, by about 25th November, after several cross-border operations were done, special mission operations were done, we knew exactly where they were and what they were doing. Pakistani forces were hell-bent on holding on to these fortresses. And then started the first December, we got to know that Pakistan is going to preempt an attack. They are going to preempt this activity by attacking in the western sector. Firing uh, started in some form the small arms, and then airstrike took place on first. First December, the airstrike. Well, uh, correction: We got to know on the first December that airstrike will take place on third in the evening time on the western airfields. And then we'll, we will be asked, we will be ordered by the Honorable Government and the Prime Minister to liberate Bangladesh. And that's exactly what happened on 3rd December. We were all ready. We crossed the border and the north. We went towards Bakshiganj. Bakshiganj was the first opposition with our brigade, 95 brigade, surrounded it. Pakistani 93 brigade was in that sector. We surrounded Bakshiganj in the process of building up. Their company commander, uh, a coincidental name called Major Ayub, he was killed. And this forces, about 100 odd Pakistanis, uh, were ordered to withdraw to Jamalpur. Jamalpur was the theater fortress where they were supposed to fight to the last man, last round. And Mehman Singh close by, along the banks of the Brahmaputra River. The Brahmaputra River in this area did not have a bridge. And we had made our plans how to be going to get across. On 5th, 5th December night, the garrison of, of uh, Pakistan in Bakshigan withdrew to Jamalpur. They did, they did not fight there. We occupied Bakshigan on 5th morning. And by 6th December, we were off infiltrating along track routes, bullock cart routes towards Jamalpur. On the night of 6th, 7th December, we were on the banks of the Brahmaputra River. And 7th, 8th, we crossed the Brahmaputra from about uh, 
uh, ten, eight kilometers, eight to ten kilometers away from Jamalpur, and surrounded Jamalpur. The whole brigade and another brigade surrounded Jamalpur. Jamalpur garrison was surrounded from the south by our battalion, the first Marathas, Jangi Paltan. On the axis, Jamalpur, Dhaka. And that's where, that's where the thing happened, that we tried a sigh war on the Jamalpur garrison commander, Colonel Sultan Ahmed. We told him that you've been surrounded yes. in the interest of troops. You better surrender. He decided to fight. He was a sitare zurat, a warrior. And on that evening of 10th, 11 December, we got a message that they are planning to break out because the multi, uh, the multi forces from the east and the west, from Jashore side and from uh, Tripura side, four corps, were closing into, into Dhaka. They wanted troops to be in Dhaka. And that's where on the night of, night of 10th, 11th December, the Pakistani forces attacked our roadblock position. Yes. Bringing them to death, they shouted their war cry, Pakistan, Zindabad, Allahu Akbar. And our great Marathas who were from the village and highly trained, they were firing onto those spots of bullets. And then the whole battlefield was lit up by the glowing vehicles which were blown up. They were all silhouetted. Any direction the Pakistani forces met, they were, they were, they were knocked out. In the morning, in the morning, our, general, our, uh, our battalion commander, Colonel Brar and Satish Nambiar, all were there. And then we got up at about 4:30. Uh, Absolutely. There was, a, there was a voice call by the Pakistani fellow. Absolutely. Top, and that was, of guy. course, the bravery shown, which uh, many are very upset about and feel sad about the fact that you know. Uh, it it uh, is forgotten, perhaps by the Bangladeshi youth of today. But do you believe this Islamist surge in Bangladesh is deja vu? This is a return of what Bangladesh was before its liberation, and that is unfortunate. When we liberated Bangladesh and we finished, as the previous person was saying, Bangladesh was moving towards great progress, and now they are destroying their own country. Like I said some time back. That is, ghar ko aag lag gai, ghar ke chirak se. Hum aapas mein lad rahen. We gave them a nation on the plate on 16 December 1971. And now the confusion which has started, they're bringing down all the buildings, they're bringing down the museums and all things which are, will be of so use, useful for economic development of the nation, which they were going. And now there is, there is total confusion of, uh, of one race against the another. Okay. This needs to be interfered with. There are various agencies of the world who are there for providing security Absolutely. and peace and tranquility. Absolutely, Brigadier Power. No, that's a very, very important point made by you. Appreciate you joining us. Many thanks to you for joining us with your perspective on this story. Let me now bring in Colonel Tajinder.